Hey everyone, my name is Stuart Owens, and today I'll be showing you the difference between a violin and a fiddle. Uh, the reason I chose this question is because oftentimes at performance I'll get this question, and I just think a lot of people would like to know. Um, so I'm from the mountains of North Carolina, and this fiddle was made in the mountains of North Carolina in Lenore County by my friend Bob Koga. And the essential difference between this, which I would consider a fiddle, I would say if someone asks me, I self-identify as a fiddle player, and a lot of times I'll tell them that the fiddle that I'm holding has a more flat bridge. This is one of the answers that I can give to you. What is the essential difference between a fiddle and a violin or a fiddle player and a violin? The flatter bridge allows for me to do more string crossing. So I'm bringing my bow over. While a violin player wants to have a more curved bridge, which would come up more in the middle, so that he can play more exact notes. Okay, so let me play a little piece of concerto number two by Seitz. So there's a little bit of a classical piece. You know, as you can see, I can play classical music, but still I identify as a fiddle player. And essentially, I am holding a fiddle in my hand made by a mountain man in the mountains of North Carolina with wood that he found out back of a barn that turned out to be a really amazing fiddle. Uh, and he names every one of his fiddles. This one is called Jenna. Let me show you a little bit of that string crossing that I was telling you about. There's a little bit of backbone footage, a fiddle tune to kind of show you guys the essential difference between a fiddle player and a violinist.